do not use just the straight up auto tune that's in Soundtrap. I'll go over exactly how to do that though. We'll go over that first, but I'll go over all three of the main ways that I know for getting an auto tune for free. And then I'm going to go over how to assign the key when you use the auto tune, which is the biggest thing that you need to know to get a good sound. Huge key at the end with minor and pentatonic modes, but I'm going to go into that at the end. Let's go into how to get the Soundtrap Auto-Tune to work. If you have the free trial, you have a month long Auto-Tune usage available to you. If you have the premium version, you have Auto-Tune forever, but if just for free, you're on a free trial of Soundtrap, you'll have it for one month and here's how to do it. Go in to the audio clip that you have just like this and press edit right next to it. Then go into auto tune and then set your key. Light to heavy is how fast and how deep you'll set, which we'll go into what those mean later. But setting the key is the primary one, making sure you have the right one, tells you what notes to play. And you could also assign which notes you want. That's a huge part about this control variable. So we'll have that. Press save on a little bit heavy, and that should be it. Oh, my voice cracked. You hear that? And then it should be auto-tuned. But before you go, that is not the best thing that we could do in auto-tune. I'm going to talk about doing another type of auto-tune in Audacity that I think is better. But if you can't be bothered or you already have another solution, go to this part in the video. This part is the major key of this video. You need this to sound good in any auto-tune. It's dealing with the notes that you set. It's counterintuitive. It's not easy. Like I always am correcting myself about like what notes to set especially when it comes to this minor and pentatonic stuff it's not what you think if nothing else go check out this part in the video we're going to talk about audacity auto tune now audacity legal is our next thing what i mean by that is say we open soundtrap again go into this three little dots right to the top right of the track that we have Go to export track and then it downloads a WAV file of the raw track that's beautiful. I could not believe that Soundtrap has that feature because it allows us to do this next thing. New camera angle, the fall. The process is taking the audio out of Soundtrap, putting it through the best auto-tune plugin, and then putting it back into Soundtrap. That's pretty much it. What we need to do is when we take it out, we need to put it in another place, download Audacity, affect it with auto-tune, meld the auto-tune, and then take it out put it back into Soundtrap, and we're all good. Here's how to do that. Audacity will look something like this. We're gonna go just search Download Audacity. I'll leave a link also to the description. Go into the download section, make sure it takes up. It takes a while to download, but you go in and then it'd be very, very safe to download. You're doing it straight from the company. I'll do mine from Mac. Watch what I'm doing right here because it goes through a little bit of different screens sometimes. It's very typical. I've had to do this every time I've downloaded Audacity. Then once you're there, you have this DMG file. And then once you have that DMG file, you'll just go into your finder and install Audacity. And then it should be in your applications folder and everything is good. Process is the exact same for Mac. You just go into the Windows installer and do the same thing. To download these Melda plugins, I'll leave a link in the description again. But it, I went to this M.Auto Pitch little section of their site and then I'm downloading the MFX free bundle. That's getting every Melda plugin for free. And I highly recommend doing all of that. It's not 58 bucks, it's free. Just do the free download. And it is super, super useful. Download the Windows if you're on Windows. I'm on Mac. I'll do Mac. This one, the preferred one, is the one that has always worked for me and has done really well. And it's the exact same thing. It'll go in, unpack the zip file, download it from the DMG, and install, and you're all set. Once everything is installed, you should be able to just open Audacity, drag and drop the file that you took from Soundtrap originally, your vocal file, and put it straight in. After that's all done, go up to Effects, Add slash Remove Plugins, Go down and find the Melda Auto Pitch, M.Auto Pitch, right there for me. And there's two of them. After those are in there, enable both of them right here. Press OK. Now you could put it on the track. Put it on the track by highlighting the whole thing. Just click the entire track like this so it highlights. Effect scroll down to the Auto Pitch. I'm doing the second one right here. And once it's on there, there we go. Now we have the auto-tune settings. Now we can control our voice with such a better auto-tune than just the Soundtrap stuff. Here's how to do it. If you remember I said depth and speed earlier and you get a variable knob for both of those in this auto-tune. So speed will control how fast it locks to a note and depth will control how on pitch that note is. So will it allow for vibrato or just straight? 
That's depth. You obviously get the piano editor and a bunch of preset scales. Kind of in Soundtrap, kind of not, a little bit better. More options. The best ones over here is that you get a width sense knob, which will allow you to make something wide just super fast and easily, like micro shift with sound toys. It sounds so good. Form and shifting, which does this. If you don't know what form and shifting is, it sounds like this. Those guys thinking like a shovel. I know you're good. Tell me about you. Red smoke. Tell me mama said your house nothing but trouble. When I'm I get up on those guys thinking like a shovel. I know you're good. We've all heard that before in songs and stuff. You just get it with this auto tune. You get a dry wet, which allows you to bring the original signal in with the mixed auto tune one. Cool for doubling. And keep formants allows the entire thing to move with the formant shift control so it just sounds a little better. Much better of an auto tune than just setting how heavy it is and the note. Quick little tip on Audacity as well you could highlight the entire section that you want to have your song in. Press shift and spacebar, that'll play it on a loop. And then once you're in that loop, you could then control your parameters with hearing it in real time. Super, super useful. And once you're done and you have the settings that you like, press apply. It puts it on so you don't have to do anything else and you're ready to export it and toss it back into Soundtrap. How we do that? Just highlight everything like we did before. File, export, export as a wave. Wave is the highest quality audio file. I'll name it autotuned.wave. We're all set. Now just go back into Soundtrap and drag and drop it back into your program and you have a better free autotune that you could use forever. What'd that take? Like two minutes or something like that? Awesome. Like I said, this is the most important part of the video. I'm gonna let Bobby McFerrin show you the main principle that I wanna get across. Ba, ba. Regardless of where I am, anywhere, every audience gets that. You know, the pentatonic scale for some reason. If you're looking for a job in neuroscience, I think. <laughs> pentatonic scale is the exact same thing. It's a major or minor pentatonic depending on where you start. So the pentatonic scale is usually where you have a melody in. It's so wide reaching all around the globe, not just your country of origin everywhere people are likely using pentatonic melodies my thing is go into this sheet check out the notes that you have so you know the key of your song when you're setting it in the auto tune so you have c minor and then if c minor is your key then set it to c minor and then go back into this pentatonic sheet and change it to c pentatonic minor change the notes to c pentatonic minor the notes that i have here change it to those notes because likely the melody will be in a pentatonic minor scale and it will sound a lot better here's the main here's the main thing that i want to avoid and why i'm even including it in this part of the video look at this for example if you're in c minor g is right next to a flat and a flat and g are so close together that if you're auto tuning a melody and you're trying to go on g it's likely going to wiggle between G and A flat. It'll sound unsure of itself if you have this wiggling going on. However, because C minor pentatonic has less notes, this G will be the only note available to you. It'll be a lot more locked on to that G, the correct note. Autotune sounds too robotic and terrible when the notes aren't sure of themselves. Likely a bunch of melodies only consist of the notes that are in the pentatonic scale, but check which one you like better but check the pentatonic first know which notes that you're doing because every melody has some deep influence in the pentatonic scale and a lot of them are only the pentatonic scale for the theory nerds when you go and select 
C minor, you're going to be taking off the major second and the minor sixth intervals, and you'll be left with the first, minor third, perfect fourth, perfect fifth, and minor seventh. That's why they call it a pentatonic scale, by the way. It's five notes. The last part that I haven't gone over yet was Audacity Illegal, and what I mean by that is, like, that's an option to download the industry standard and Tari's plugin illegally like that's a free option that you can do i'm not going to advise you of doing that man like i know a lot of people who crack stuff i have never seen the Antares autotune work easily for anybody to crack you talk about difficulty with audacity if audacity is difficult enough you will have a nightmare of a time trying to download the Antares autotune plugin on a crack waves and Antares are the worst offenders they're the hardest to crack from what i've heard from what i've heard but yeah you know like it is not worth the hassle for me i i would not personally do that i do not advise you doing that but it's an option i guess what you get with the soundtrack premium autotune built in is a month of a free use very easy to use because it's right in the program no extra steps and the quality is pretty great but you really don't have that much control over how to affect the autotune sound you're stuck with kind of one sound in the key that you want putting something in audacity legally is my favorite option downloading the melda set you have it for an infinite amount of time it's a little bit more difficult but once you get used to it it is no more than 60 seconds on top of your workflow and for it you get a very good quality sound and a ton of control over over what it is which is the only thing that matters to me and then you could download the entire plugin illegally if you want to have it a long time with great quality and good control but extremely difficult very difficult to download i do not advise of that the like button is down there if you guys like this please it really helps the channel if you guys like it i appreciate you just for watching though check out the rest of the videos i have on here leave a comment if you have any questions i'll catch you guys in the next one <laughs> peace